Okay, well, if I had to have one piece of equipment, if I was doing prescribed burning, the thing that that would be would be a sprayer. Sprayers come in various sizes, various shapes, and they perform differently. So we'll start out with a uh, talking about uh, a primary sprayer, and primary would be the one that you would the one that you would want to have on hand if you had to actually uh, control a fire. Okay, and that would be my my choice of a primary sprayer would be a. a high pressure, low volume sprayer such as this one here, uh, that actually this pump, this is a diaphragm pump on this unit, it will put out anywhere from probably eight to 11 to 12 gallons per minute. So what that high pressure and low volume does for you is it conserves water. You can actually control a fire uh, with lower volumes of water as long as your pressures are inflated and so I'd uh, we generally run these things at about uh, three-quarter throttle if we're if we're really using them generating somewhere in the neighborhood of 450 pound, uh, PSI and probably putting out about nine gallons a minute and that's a that's a very good uh, compromise it's not uh, it's similar similar to many of your uh, cattle sprayers that you use. We've, we've burned with cattle sprayers for years. So as long as you get that pressure up around 400 or, uh, or above 400 PSI uh, and put out nine to 12 gallons per minute, uh, that's, a, that's an adequate sprayer for being your primary sprayer on a prescribed burn. Uh, this rig that's on a, a UTV, uh, it is, it's also a, high pressure low volume sprayer but it's a uh, it's it too uses a diaphragm pump but it has less uh, less pressure creates less pressure probably maxes out in the 400 450 psi and the volume is probably somewhere around uh, maximum volume is six six gallons or so the thing that you have to think about though is that you have on a UTV sprayer, your water capacity is much diminished. This is probably a 50 gallon rig, whereas we're looking at a two or 300 gallon rig here. So um, when you're out in a, doing a prescribed burn and you're away from a water source, well, you have to think about the quantity of water that you're gonna use. Opposed to low pressure, higher volume rigs, if you think about that, we're thinking something that maybe a roller pump that might uh, generate up to 100 psi and put out uh, put out six to eight gallons per minute or something like that, but because it doesn't have the pressure, you can't control as much fire with the same amount of water, and so it takes a lot more water uh, to do the same job with those with those low pressure, high volume rigs. And when you're at, like I say, when you're out in the field doing prescribed burning, a lot of times you don't have a water source handy, and so you have to think about the volume of water that you're using. Spray, spray rigs come in, like I said, in various sizes, uh, various shapes. Uh, the smallest would be one that would fit on the back of an ATV. Uh, it would be very mobile, be very mobile, but you're limited in the amount of water that you can haul. So think of it as, as water weighs, water weighs approximately eight pounds per gallon. So if you fill that 50 gallon tank up, you've got 400 pounds sitting in the back of this thing. This tank, if it's a 200 gallon tank, it's got 1600 pounds of water. And so it's not as mobile if it's, if you have uh, muddy terrain or real rocky terrain, you may not be able to get to some places with a rig like this on this flatbed truck, whereas you can with this UTV. Then you can contrast that with a pull behind sprayer, which may be the same sprayer as this on a trailer. In some situations, that might be not as mobile, depending on what you're pulling it with. If you're pulling it with a four-wheel drive tractor, you might be able to get into tighter places than you could with it mounted on the back of with it mounted on the back of this flatbed, just because you have have the capabilities of going going into rougher places. So you have to think about those types of things when you're doing your burn to kind of fit your fit your equipment with your with your burn with your burn plan.